Hi, this is Phil Chandler. It's early May, which is swarm season here. I've already taken, I think, three swarms this year, and I always leave empties in my apiaries because it's not by any means unknown for bees to swarm out of one hive and pretty much straight into another one in the same apiary. And I think this is what's going on here. You can see I've left this polynuke empty and there's frames in there, but it's otherwise empty um, because I know that there are a couple of colonies in this apiary here which are probably going to swarm. Um, I could, of course, prevent that by splitting on various other means, but um, I'm inclined in most cases to um, allow nature to take its course unless it's a queen that I absolutely want to keep. Now, in this case, what we're looking at is a lot of quite excited activity around the entrance to this polynuke. And you might think from the, from the level of activity that there's, there's actually already a colony in this hive. But in fact, if you look carefully at the, the kind of activity, um, the bees are running in, They're, they look quite agitated. They're running in, um, they're, they appear to be scurrying around inside, if you like, and checking out the dimensions and uh, the living conditions, and then coming out again. And you can see there's quite a number of bees around the box, flying in a what you might think is a sort of haphazard manner. But they're, they're, they're kind of, they have that look about them that they're, they're curious about this box. They want to know if it's, um, if it's a nice place to live and they are not bringing in pollen. That's, that's one of the, the big clues that you can um, look for. If bees are not bringing in pollen, but they are rushing in and out of the entrance like this, you can be pretty sure that they're scouting. Now, this level of scouting, I mean, there are, I don't know, maybe a hundred bees involved in this. This level of scouting tells me that they have pretty much decided that this is the place that the colony is going to move into. Um, it's, uh, it's a done deal, pretty much. You don't see that level of, of, uh, of excitement around a box um, and then nothing afterwards. So I'm going to take a, uh, take a guess that they are actually on the point of swarming today and that with any luck I'll be here to photograph the event. So I've managed to be here at the right time. Thousands of bees in the air. And it looks like they're coming out of that hive there. And I'm right in the middle of the swarm now. And you can see that they are, as I thought, going to move in to this polynuke right here. Now sometimes, as we know, bees settle in a tree for a while um, while they finally make up their mind about where they're going. But in this case, They've already made up their minds and they're going to move directly into that hive. If I point the camera skywards, you can see that there are thousands and thousands of bees in the air around me.
I'm walking right through the, the cloud of bees here, right through the swarm. And uh, when bees are swarming like this, they're not in the least interested in anything but moving into their new home. So I'm not in the least bit afraid of getting stung. And I think the experience of being amongst so many bees is something that everybody should have at least once in their lives. Because you do really get the impression of their collective nature. The degree to which they cooperate and work together. It can look like kind of disorganized random activity. But in fact, it's all devoted to the simple purpose of reproduction. They're driven to reproduce themselves by splitting the colony. The old queen goes off with about half the bees to find a new place to live, set up a new home, leaving behind the remainder of the colony who complete the task of making new queens and then rebuild themselves and continue as before.